Rising Tensions Amid Global Conflict on Wednesday, October 30, 2024. The global stage saw heightened tensions as North Korea openly allied with Russia in the ongoing conflict against Ukraine. Meanwhile, Western nations, led by the United States, claimed the moral right to support Ukraine. This contrast sparked criticism from Russian Ambassador Vasily Nebenzia, who questioned why the West asserts the sole right to aid Ukraine while denying the same prerogative to Russia and its allies. This debate intensified after allegations from the US, UK, Ukraine, and South Korea that North Korea had sent thousands of troops to assist Russia in the war. Reports suggest that in October 2024, North Korea deployed between 1,000, 1,000, and 12 Valonzin troops to support Russian military operations near the Ukrainian border. Alongside personnel, North Korea provided significant military resources, including 102 mm and 552 mm artillery shells, mortars, and rockets for Russian multiple rocket launcher systems. North Korea's strategic support to Russia. The deployment of North Korean forces bolstered Russia's capacity to counter Ukrainian offensives, particularly in border areas. From Russia's perspective, receiving support from North Korea is justified under international law, as the two nations signed a mutual cooperation agreement on June 19, 2024. This agreement was ratified by both countries in November 2024, marking a new phase of strategic partnership. The 23-article pact covers various areas, including military assistance, energy cooperation, space exploration, and trade. One of its key provisions commits both nations to provide military aid if one is attacked, in accordance with Article 51 of the UN Charter, which recognizes the right to collective self-defense. The agreement also emphasizes opposition to unilateral sanctions asserting their incompatibility with international norms. Western outrage and accusations. The United States and its allies condemned North Korea's involvement, calling it a blatant violation of international law. They criticized Russia for accepting aid from a nation under comprehensive UN sanctions, arguing that this undermines the principles of the UN Charter. By contrast, Western nations supporting Ukraine claim their assistance adheres to international law since no contributing country faces Security Council sanctions. For North Korea, involvement in the conflict brings significant benefits, including financial aid, food supplies, and advanced technology from Russia. Reports indicate that North Korean soldiers deployed to Russia earn around 222 thousand per month, while Kim Jong-un personally receives 2 mil million monthly for the arrangement. These economic incentives come as North Korea grapples with consecutive crop failures, food shortages, and economic isolation. South Korea's response and global implications as a staunch ally of the West, South Korea has pledged to increase its diplomatic and economic support for Ukraine. President Yoon Suk Yell warned if Russia and North Korea continue their a dangerous military adventures. South Korea would implement measures to strengthen its alliance with Western nations. The conflict has deepened divisions between the Koreas, with North Korea openly signaling hostility toward its southern neighbor. South Korea's ties to Western nations especially in technology and defense, further complicate the geopolitical landscape. The U.S. has urged its allies to pressure China, North Korea's long-standing partner, to curb Pyongyang's military support for Russia. The historical closeness between China and North Korea, often described as clips and teeth, positions Beijing as a critical player in the unfolding scenario. China's delicate position, China finds itself in a challenging position as both a key trading partner for South Korea 
and a close ally of North Korea. South Korea's semiconductor and electronics industries, vital to the global supply chain, are deeply intertwined with China. Escalating conflict risks, disrupting these sectors, pressuring Beijing to balance regional stability with its alliances. China has expressed dissatisfaction with North Korea's deployment of troops to Russia, fearing it could pro provoke greater military cooperation between the U.S., Europe, and their Asia-Pacific allies. Beijing's priority remains maintaining stability in the region, yet it faces mounting pressure to take a clear stance as tensions escalate. A broader Asian conflict. The Russia-Ukraine war increasingly risks spilling over into Asia, with Korea at the forefront. North Korea's alignment with Russia and its aggressive stance against South Korea signal a potential for broader conflict. The comprehensive strategic partnership between Moscow and Pyongyang strengthens their military and political ties. While Kim Jong-un's rhetoric against South Korea hardens the division between the two Koreas, North Korea's recent constitutional amendments reinforce its portrayal of South Korea as a sworn enemy, escalating hostilities. If left unchecked, this rising tension could lead to a military confrontation, further destabilizing the region and drawing in global powers. The road ahead, as geopolitical alliances solidify, the prospect of de-escalation grows dim. Russia and North Korea's deepening ties highlight a shift toward a more polarized global order. Meanwhile, the West continues to strengthen its partnerships, with the U.S., South Korea, and European allies coordinating efforts to counter this axis of influence. The coming months will be critical in determining whether Russia, Ukraine, conflict remains localized or becomes a flashpoint for a broader global confrontation.